Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. Now that fall time is approaching, summer is out, and the temperatures are starting to cool off, number one, the garden has slowed down and is just about out for the season for us. So we have to do a lot of home projects. One of the home projects that we have been waiting for is to get a walkway from our driveway to the house so we won't have to walk in that nasty, southern red mud red clay so we decided to do something a little different we did have some temporary stepping stones but they really just didn't look really nice and attractive so we did something different we decided to cut wood slices out of cedar trees and make a walkway with it so what we're going to do is take you through how we accomplished this, the steps we took, and some things we learned, maybe some things we would do different if we were going to do this again. Okay, the first thing is to go into the woods and find some cedar trees, and then cut the slices on the cedar trees. Okay, next I wanted to measure the distance from the house. In my case, were, I think was 15 feet. So I put rebar on each side of where we were gonna do the sidewalk and then tied a rope. This will allow me to keep a reference point in order to keep the pathway straight. Okay, I used the tractor to make this job a lot easier. This tractor is one of the little subcompact tractors, but it is perfect for this type of work. So I had the box blade on the back, and the box blade was just the perfect size for this walk area. Okay, so I used the box blade several passes back and forth until I got the right depth. Okay, this is how it looked after grading it. The box blade gave a pretty smooth finish. And then after that, we decided to go ahead and spray weed killer under and figured this would probably help so weeds didn't start immediately coming up through the rocks. Next, we decided to cut a notch in the landscape timbers. This would help hold the landscape timbers together to make it a little more rigid. Okay, here's how the joint looked. You can do it however you want, but we thought this looked a little better and would hold a little better. Next, something real important, if every size is not perfect, the thickness of the slices, you will need to 
go through and sort all the slices and put the thicker slices at one end and the thinner slices at the other and it'll be a lot easier to walk on. Okay, and the next thing we did, put the slices in the pathway. And this goes together just like a puzzle and put them in however you want it to look. This is how it looked before we poured the gravel in. Okay, next, pouring the gravel in. One thing you'll probably want to do here is pour a few thin layers and then instead of pouring it all at one time because we did end up pouring a little too much in a spot and then had to scrape it up and move it. But to save yourself a little time and energy, just pour some thin layers until you get the amount of gravel that you want. And then you can just brush the gravel into the holes or sweep it. And then we also found something that worked a little better. There, You can brush it with a stiff brush into the cracks and that seemed to work a lot better. Now this is something we should have done when the slices were free and before they got into the sidewalk. And we wanted to add some, uh, just a tint to bring out the natural colors. So we chose the cedar color and we're real happy with the color of this. So you just take a paintbrush and just go through every one of them and paint the water seal on them. Now we did seal them before the bottom of them with a different sealer before we put them down. Okay, this shows you the difference between the natural wood and how it's enhanced with just a little bit of tint in the water sealer. Next is the finished product and here it is coming down from the steps. We're very pleased with this and actually a little bit surprised how rugged it is. It's pretty solid with when you put the gravel in place. We're hoping the gravel will settle and make it a little more solid. So we're very pleased with how it turned out. Well, thank you again for joining us. We hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you like it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us or just leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank mm -hmm. you.